grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mam prado sotori hashkite le praha, jege le praha ndali ge busku pradoska, jege le praha ndali ge busku pradoske te yehe, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we exalt you, we adore you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Tonight we're going to be praying concerning restoration. We're going to be praying for deliverance. There was a story that the Lord would have me share with us tonight, and it's in Second Samuel chapter 4, verse 4. Um, I got a bit emotional reading this story, and um, I'm hoping that all the mothers who are connected tonight will be able to pick something from this story, and that the Lord will cause you, cause a stir within your spirit and cause an awakening that will cause you to pray and to stand in the gap for your children from tonight onwards. As I said, the story is in 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4. I'm going to read from the NLT version. The Bible says that Saul's son, Jonathan, had a son named Mephibosheth, who was crippled as a child. The Bible says he was five years old when the reports came from Jezreel that Saul and Jonathan had been killed in battle. When the child's nurse heard the news, she picked him up and fled. But as she hurried away, she dropped him and he became crippled. That story is in 2 Samuel chapter 4 verse 4. And I read it from the NLT version. And I was thinking about this story. I was thinking about this, this boy called Mephibosheth. You know, reading through that story, Mephibosheth was born into a great lineage. He became crippled because he fell. He fell because he was being carried by somebody. He was being carried by a nurse. He was being carried by a minder. His father and his grandfather had been killed. And I was reading through the story and it seems like, you know, whatever seed, whatever son, whatever child is from such a lineage, when they faced with such a calamity, they needed to be wiped out as well. So somebody was looking to kill this child. Somebody was looking to wipe out the trace of this particular family from the, from the face of the earth. But the nurse decided that this was not going to happen. So she heard the news and she carried this child and ran. And while she was doing that, the Bible says that the child dropped from her hands. The child fell and became crippled. We're going to pray tonight. You know, reading through that story, when, when, when we finish the prayer, you can go and read that story. It ended up that Mephibosheth ended up in Lodiba. And I decided to search and find out what Lodiba meant. Lodiba meant without pasture. It meant a forgotten place. Can you imagine the grandchild of a king being sent to Lodiba, being sent onto a place that was forgotten? So we're going to pray tonight, sisters. Our first prayer point is going to be, Lord, every incident and every accident that would jeopardize my children's future. Lord, I am asking in the name of Jesus that you would deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of that accident, Mephibosheth, he was not in a good place to, 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 to live the life that his father and his grandfather had lived. We're going to pray today and say, Lord, every incident and accident that would jeopardize my children's future, every incident and accident that would deprive my children of their rightful places in life, in the mighty in the name of Jesus, tonight I cancel. I decree in the name of Jesus that they will not come into existence in the mighty name of Jesus. There are accidents and there are incidents that happen by appointments. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with you tonight. I say every incident that will put my children in a place that you have not destined for them in future. That will put my children in a place of, of disadvantage. That will put my children in a place where they will be sent to the land that is forgotten. That will put my children in a position to be sent to a land without pasture. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight I decree and I declare that that will not be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree tonight in the name of Jesus, every accident that will put my children in a difficult place, every accident that will take away that which is my children's possession, 
every accident that will make my children to suffer what they're not supposed to to experience in life every accident that will delay my children from reaching their goal and their destiny that you have allocated to them father i cancel in the mighty name of jesus i cancel them in the mighty name of jesus lord i cancel them in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed do you know there are times that the person who has the accident is not even related to you at all the person who tripped was the nurse the person who tripped in this story was the nurse you know later on we're going to be talking about what happened to mephibosheth's mother but the person who tripped in this story was the nurse why did the nurse trip? why was the destiny cut short by that woman's mistake you know she did her best Human beings actually try to help us. We're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, everybody who will have an accident, everybody who will get into trouble, everybody who will be faced with a mishap that will have a repercussion on my children, that will have a total effect on my children. In the name of Jesus, Father, I secure them tonight. In the name of Jesus. There are some people you get to an office. The person who promised to help you was sacked yesterday. You're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, every person that you have allocated and assigned to my future to my children's future to help them father lord in the name of jesus today i am securing their place in destiny i am securing their position in destiny in the mighty name of jesus i decree and i declare every person that you have put oh lord in my children's future in my children's destiny to help them towards the place and the position father in the name of jesus today i decree that their path shall drop with fatness in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed a few months ago, I was watching a movie and I shared it with a few of my friends. There was a particular Christian that I'd been praying and he was asking the Lord that the Lord will restore him. He was asking for, 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 for breakthroughs and nothing was happening until the Lord caused his eyes to be opened. Somebody had decided to take captive the people who were supposed to help this gentleman. Every one of them were held in bondage. Hell had decided that this guy was not going to prosper. And until the Lord opened his eyes and he started to see that he started to pray. And immediately the gates were opened and this particular gentleman, his helpers were released unto him. And they decided to favor him. You're going to pray, say, Lord, every helper that you have allocated to my children's future. Father, in the name of Jesus, I secure them against every calamity that will hinder them from helping my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree. Every help that you have allocated, every help you have assigned, every help that you have put in place for my children's future. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, Lord God Almighty, they will function in the position, in the capacity that you have allocated to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed. The Bible says that the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. When you read the story of Mephibosheth, wow. I read through that story today and I was like, God, why, 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 why? Because this guy kept going from one calamity to the other. We're going to pray today because the Bible says that the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The path of the seed of the righteous only can shine unto the brighter day. You're going to pray and say, Lord, my children will not know a better yesterday. I will not know a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus, some children thrive and they're growing in affluence. They're growing in comfort and suddenly something happens and that family is thrown into to, into turmoil and they, are, they start to suffer we're going to pray and say lord my children must not suffer they must not know a better yesterday in the mighty name of jesus my children's path will shine brighter and brighter onto a perfect day in the mighty name of jesus their path shall drop with fatness in the name of jesus my children tomorrow will be better than today every single day they wake up oh lord it will be a better day for them than yesterday in the mighty name of jesus Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Do you know, I decided to study on Mephibosheth. And you know what happened to this gentleman? Even after he was discovered, the Bible says that the king asked for everything that belongs to his generation to be handed over to him. And Ziba, the guy who informed the king, was asked to become his servant and to serve him. But do you know what? Later on in that story, Ziba started to contend with Mephibosheth. You know, that, that, that analysis I was reading said that the character of Mephibosheth, it illustrated the effect of continued disaster. Why should a child be born into that? You're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, I am standing today and I'm declaring 
My children shall not experience disaster. It shall not be a story of continual disaster because they will not even experience disaster at all. Why should a child born, one, we cannot find his mother, two, his father and his grandfather who took charge of him, they died. They died before he was able to take a stand for himself. The nurse who decided to help him fell and he got crippled. And then the person who was allocated to him again started to contend with him. Say, Father, I am declaring my children will not experience continual disaster in the mighty name of Jesus. I even disallow a one-time disaster for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not experience disaster. My children will not experience disaster in the mighty name of Jesus. You say we should say unto the righteous, it is well with you. I speak unto my children. It is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, my children. You shall not experience continuous disaster. You shall not experience stress in the mighty name of Jesus the hand of the Lord will support you the hand of the Lord will uphold you in Jesus name we have prayed I read in Galatians 4 1 I read in Galatians 4 1 as the, the Bible says NLT version it says if a father dies and leaves an inheritance for his young children those children are not much better off than slaves until they grow up, even though they actually own everything their father had. Do you know, I thought of the stories that, you know, we have come across. I'm sure some of you, my sisters, you've heard the story or you, you know somebody who this happened to. The family was doing great. The father was doing great. He was bringing in money and boom, suddenly he disappears from the face of the earth. The family comes, the family of the father comes and they say, you've killed our son because of children in a place of disadvantage every wastage of my life that will make my children to suffer that will make everything that i've labored for to be given to the hands of the enemy father i will not die any untimely death oh lord father i will not die oh lord god almighty and only on any untimely death in the mighty name of jesus i decree regarding my husband my husband will not die an untimely death father lord god almighty you will preserve us even to do that which you want us to do we will train our children oh lord even to a place where they are confident we will train our children, O oh Lord, to a place where they are confident and comfortable to stand on their own. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, our home of joy will not become a place of sorrow. It will not become a place of sorrow. It will not become a home of hardship. In the mighty name of Jesus, every untimely death, every wastage that will take me or take my husband, I will snuff life out of us in broad daylight, in our prime, and make our children to suffer. In the name of Jesus, I cancel, I destroy. In the name of Jesus, I decree that I and my children, Father Lord God Almighty, we will live to enjoy every second of our relationship. In the name of Jesus, Sisters, I want you to pray for your husband. A lot of us, our husbands are the enemy powers in our home. Like the story I shared with you a while ago. The wife of the son of the prophet. Her husband died untimely. He had a lot of debt. And this woman was thrown into turmoil. Pray for your husband that the enemy will not snatch him prematurely. The enemy will not kill him and waste his life away. The enemy will not turn us into poverty. Because of this, in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree concerning my husband. He will not die die a premature death. In the name of Jesus, he will not die a wasted death. In the mighty name of Jesus, his labor will not be in vain concerning me, concerning our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand will sustain him. Your hand will perfect him. Your hand will preserve him. In the mighty name of Jesus, my husband will not experience untimely death. I will not experience untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. We're going to pray right now. We're going to pray because I tell you, the devil has a way of wasting people. There are times he will just allocate you to a journey that you're not meant to go to. And that journey will waste. You're going to pray and say, in the name of Jesus, every journey that will consume me, every journey that will snatch me prematurely from my children, Lord, I cancel such journey. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, Lord God Almighty, there shall be a delay, there shall be a delay. I will not get on that flight, I will not travel on that road, there shall be a delay, Lord, that will stop me from going on any journey that will waste me, any journey that will waste my husband in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord God Almighty. I decree, Lord God Almighty, my path is safe. Any path that the enemy has put before me that is not safe, that is meant to waste me, Father, I cancel such. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. 
We're going to pray. Because there are times, you know, there are diseases, things that they say, oh, it is this symptom, it is that symptom. Before you know it, one symptom leads to the other symptom. And before you know it, the man is gone, the woman is gone. You're going to pray tonight and say, every disease that the enemy has planted, that is supposed to take life out of me in my prime, today I send the word of God onto your foundation, and I cause you to fizzle out from my body. In the name of Jesus, you shall go and you shall be, you shall, you shall be left without any trace. In the the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, Lord God Almighty, every disease, every illness, every infirmity that the enemy has planted or is intended to plant into my physical body to destroy me, to cause me to be consumed in my prime. In the name of Jesus, today I cancel. I decree they shall not live. In the name of Jesus, I decree they shall not prosper. They shall not flourish within my body. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You know, I started to look at the story of Mephibosheth and I was wondering, you know, I was trying to read and, and as I was studying about it, we never heard anything mentioned about how Mephibosheth's mother actually died. It is very pathetic. And so I decided to look what happened to a man who has a mission and whose mother was there and a man who has a mission and his mother was not there. So I decided to compare the story of Mephibosheth and the story of Moses. Moses' mother bed, made a basket and put her son in a basket and put the basket in the water. Meanwhile, the mother of Mephibosheth was nowhere to be found. This child, her eyes did not leave her son. She put this child, well, you would expect, wouldn't you? Naturally, logically. The hands of a human being is better than water. But you know the amazing thing. The Bible says that Moses, his mother was there and he was watching. The sister was there and watching. Somebody was keeping an eye on Moses. Somebody was allocated to take care of Moses. The mother did not give up on this child. You're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, set my heart on a lot. That I will hold my children in a place of safety. There is a place of safety. The hand of the maid was not a place of safety for Mephibosheth. Pray that the Lord will help you. He will set your heart on alert. He will set your heart on alert. He will set your heart on alert. That you will not give up. You will not give in. In the name of Jesus, you will watch your children until they get to safety. You will watch your children until they get to safety. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us, we need to, our place of safety is in our home. And we leave our children in the hands of housemates. Pray that the Lord will open your eyes. He will open your eyes to the, to the, to the turmoil that your children are going through. In the hands of other people. Not all housemates are wicked. But there are housemates that do iniquity. The other day I was looking on Facebook. And there I was seeing the story of a housemaid who was who was squeezing menstrual blood into the food that was going to be given to the children he, she was enacting covenant that even the mother has not had time to enact on these children pray tonight that the lord will set you set your heart on alert in the name of jesus regarding your children father i am praying that you will set my heart on alert in the name of jesus regarding my children Father, set my heart on alert regarding my children. Set my heart on alert regarding my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, my eyes will not leave my children until they get to a place of safety, until they get to a land that you have given unto them, until they get to a place that you have proposed for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, set, set my heart on alert, O Lord. Set my heart on alert, O Lord. Put a fire in my bone regarding my children, regarding their location, regarding their placement, regarding their safety. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray tonight and say, Lord, per adventure, there is a journey I have sent my children. Or there is a journey I am planning to send my children that will put them in a position to be destroyed in their life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am asking for wisdom to correct such journeys tonight. In the name of Jesus, everywhere I have sent my children, be it school, some of us need to change the children's school because you have sent them on a journey that will destroy them. Father, Lord, every journey I have sent my children, every journey I have I'm intending to send my children that will destroy them and destroy their future. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive a change of heart today. I receive a change of heart today. I receive a change of heart today. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. We're going to pray tonight. The Bible says the hands of Zerubbabel are started 
this temple and it will finish it. There is no such thing as starting a job and not finish. There is no need. Why start when you cannot finish? You're going to pray for yourself tonight and say, Lord, I am standing upon the rock of ages and I'm asking, O Lord God Almighty, that you will enable my hand to finish the work I have started regarding my children. Father, I will not leave my children and put them in a position of fear. I will not leave my children in a place where they will not be established. I will not leave my children when they need me most in their lives. Some women will tell you, they say, I do not know how to go about it because my mother died when I was young. Let me tell you, there's a place of instruction. Say, Lord, I am asking that you will preserve my life and preserve me, oh Lord, until I complete my job. Up regarding raising my children in the name of Jesus. Ah, there are jobs that a mother needs to do in the life of a daughter. There are times the mother needs to stand up and say, daughter, we are taking this. But when your place is empty, nobody will do that work for you. You're going to pray and say, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree tonight, my place will not be empty beside my children, behind my children, in front of my children to lead them, beside them to support them, and they are back to protect and to preserve them in the name of Jesus and to cover them from the arrows of the enemy. Father, Lord God Almighty, my place in the lives of my children shall not be missing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Do you know what? I was still thinking about Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth is the grandson of Saul. Grandson of Saul. His grandfather was a king. Naturally, you would think, if his grandfather was a king, his father should be a king, he should be a king in the waiting. Do you know what? That throne never got given to that guy. That throne never belonged to him. We are going to pray right now and say, Lord, every throne that is mine, every throne that belongs to my husband, every great inheritance that has been allocated to us, but has been misplaced and wrongly allocated because of our ignorance. Lord, today we ask that you open our eyes in the name of Jesus. We will start to see the way we're supposed to see. We will claim and we will reclaim every inheritance, every throne, every kingdom that belongs to us, that is rightfully ours in the name of Jesus. Tonight we ask our eyes are open. Our eyes are open. Our eyes are open in the name of Jesus. When the enemy wants to punish a man, he will make him ignorant. Father, I am asking, do you open my eyes? Open the eyes of my husband. Every throne, every kingdom that belongs to us, that is wrongfully in the hands of many, in the hands of others. Father, tonight, we claim back, we take back. In the name of Jesus, we say this place belongs to us and we inherit, we take over, we reclaim from the hand of the oppressors. In the name of Jesus, we decree tonight every throne that is ours that the enemy has taken over in the name of Jesus we reclaim in Jesus name we pray we're gonna pray we're gonna pray we're gonna pray we'll be finishing shortly we're gonna pray and say Lord the Bible says it says the Lord watches over the sojourners and he upholds the widow and the fatherless but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin we're going to pray for the widows in our midst tonight. <laughs> Some of them, their hands have been tied. Their rightful possessions have been invaded and been taken by people. They have been denied what belongs to them. We're going to ask in the mighty name of Jesus, we take away sleep from the eyes of everybody who has cheated these women and their children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree they shall know no peace until that which belongs to them has been restored. In the name of Jesus, sisters pray. Pray for every widow in our midst. In the name of Jesus, that that which belongs to them be restored unto them. Every oppressor who has taken what belongs to them rightfully, who has put their children in a place so in a position of poverty and suffering. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we take away sleep from their eyes. We take away sleep from the eyes of such people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, your word says that you watch over sojourners. You say you uphold the widow and the fatherless. You say you bring the way of the wicked to ruin. In the mighty name of Jesus, every one of my sisters who have been widowed, every one of my sisters who have lost their husband, whose rightful position have been taken, whose inheritance have been stolen away from them, who have been deprived 
deprived of that which is rightfully theirs, the labors and the sweat of their husband. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take away sleep from the eyes of those who have cheated them, and we say, Lord God Almighty, we decree with speed, they shall be restored, that which belongs to them. In the name of Jesus, we take sleep away from the eyes of those who have oppressed them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Bible says a workman is worthy of his wages. Sisters, we're going to pray tonight. As many of you as are working hard, you know yourself. You are going to pray tonight. Say, Lord, you have given me a job to guard and to direct my children. As I labor daily, I decree my reward shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus, my reward shall be preserved. Many children start to make it and they forget their parents. Say, Lord, I am decreeing and declaring tonight. My children will not forget me. My children will not forget me. I am laboring. I am working tirelessly. Father, that my children will have an inheritance. I am asking, oh Lord God, Almighty, that my reward will be preserved regarding my children, regarding their lives. In the name of Jesus, when it comes to a time for me to start to enjoy the benefit of my labor, my children will not forget me. In the name of Jesus, they will not push me aside. In the mighty name of Jesus, when my children are grown and they are fulfilled, Father, they will remember me. They will remember my, my effort and my labor. Father, Lord God Almighty, I shall be honored as a result of my hard work, as a result of my persistence in the place of prayer. In the mighty in the name of Jesus, my children, you will not forget me. You will accord to me the honor that is due me. As a woman who has stood in a place of prayer for you, as a woman who has labored through my sweat to support you and to encourage you and to charge you in the way of the Lord, you will not forget. You will not forget me, and you will not drop me aside. You will give me the honor. You will give me the favor that is due me. You will give me the glory and the honor that is due a mother. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I stand in a place of prayer for the Lord God Almighty, I am decreeing tonight. My joy shall be full concerning my children. My joy shall be full regarding my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. My dear sisters, I am sure that you have seen this, you have seen this before. You attend maybe it's a wedding ceremony. And all you will have on the seat of the mother is a picture. And at times what you will see there is somebody else, maybe a woman from the mother's side or a woman from the father's side, giving that girl away. And you're wondering, Lord, where is the woman? Where is the woman that birthed this great destiny? Where is the woman who is supposed to be going and becoming and is supposed to be a day of joy and celebration? You're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, on the day of my children's glory, my position will not be taken by another. My place will not be vacant, oh Lord. They will not put a picture to replace me on the day of my children's glory. Father, all through my children's life, in the mighty name of Jesus, my place will not be taken by another. They will not use a piece of paper to replace me. Father, when the time of my children's joy shall come, Father, Lord God Almighty, I will not be missing. I will not be missing. Lord, you, will, you have put me in a position to guide these children, to support them, to instruct them, to equip them. Father, I am asking, Lord, my joy shall be full when the time of glory will come for my children to be celebrated. In the mighty name of Jesus, their joy, O Lord God Almighty, shall be full as mine shall be full. In the mighty name of Jesus, their position shall not be taken by another. My position shall not be taken by another. My husband's position shall not be taken by another. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am laboring concerning these children. I am working hard concerning them. Father, in the time of joy, they will not be mourning me. In the time of glory, they will not be mourning me. In the time of honor in life, they will not be mourning me. Father, Lord God Almighty, with joy, Lord God Almighty, I shall enjoy the fruit of my labor. I shall enjoy the position, a great position that you have given me in the lives of my children. I give you glory and honor, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We're going to pray tonight. There was a help that was made available to Mephibosheth. We're finishing now. That help stayed with Mephibosheth for as long as we could read in the Bible. Because the kings kept stepping in on his case. We're going to pray tonight and say, Lord, I am raising men and women who will step in in the case of my children. Every time the enemy wants to steal that which belongs to my children, that Lord God Almighty, you will raise men and women who will favor them without explanation. They will just look at my children and say, I cannot understand, but I just see myself fighting your case. A testimony that was shared on that precious US last week, one of the men that came to our conference, he said there was somebody, 
you who kept defending my cause. He said the man was saying how good I was. The man was saying how trusted I was. He did not give anything to this man. You're going to pray and say, Lord, for every time my children need to reach a place of great greatness in their life, Father, you would allocate help. You will allocate spokesperson to them in the name of Jesus. People who will speak on their behalf in the name of Jesus. People who will favor them in the name of Jesus. Father, I am thanking you. Father, Lord, as you allocate men and women who will be spokesperson for my children when the time shall come for them to need a word. Father, Lord God Almighty, my children will not lack, oh Lord, a positive spokeswoman, a positive spokesman in the name of Jesus who will speak a word in favor of them on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, that that which belongs to them, that which is due them, will not be allocated to another. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord, because the Bible says that the lot of the wicked will not fall unto the righteous. Father, you have given us these children and we bring them before your altar tonight. We say the, the destiny and the future that you have allocated unto our children. Father, we stand in a place of prayer and we preserve such destinies. From tonight onwards, in the name of Jesus, Father, we decree every destiny that you have given unto our children, every placement that you have given unto them, that, Father, they have been cheated out of it. Father, we decree a restoration tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, Father Lord, Mephibosheth was in the hands of the maid when he, the woman tricked and he fell and he became crippled. We are asking tonight, O Lord God Almighty, that you will help us, that we will not die an untimely death, that we will put our children in the hands of incompetent people, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are asking, especially, O Lord, that we will take our position, we will take our place to watch over, to guard and to guide this destiny, O Lord, until they are fully mature, to ascend upon their throne and upon the greatness that you have allocated to them in life. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we are praying tonight. Every disease, every infirmity, every illness that the enemy has planned to cut our life short, that we may not be able to stand and to train these children. Father, such, such infirmity, such disease, we go onto their foundation tonight. We uproot them and we send the word of God to steal every such. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say we will not die an untimely death. Our husbands will not die an untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will stand upon our watch until our children reach their place of destiny. Father, we thank you for this, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we agree. We stand in agreement tonight for all our sisters who are widows, who have been cheated out of their inheritance, whose, whose, whose destinies have been thwarted because of the wickedness of the hearts of people. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take away sleep and rest. We take away peace from the heart of as many people as have put this, this, our sisters in a position of disadvantage. We say their peace be taken away from tonight and Father Lord God Almighty until they correct that which they have done. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. We give you glory and honor. Thank you for all that you have done for us tonight. Thank you for the answers to these prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for coming, sisters, and see you next week. Good night.